Colorectal cancer continues to be the second leading cause of cancer death, not only in South Carolina, but in the United States. And one third of the people that are diagnosed with this will actually die of it. That's a shame because colon cancer, despite being the second leading cause of cancer death, is actually, for the most part, preventable. Our goal with colon cancer should be prevention. The Center for Colon Cancer Research began in 2002. It's located here on the campus of the University of South Carolina in Columbia. And the primary purpose of the uh, center is to conduct basic research on colorectal cancer with the goal of uh, improving our ability to diagnose it, to prevent it, and to treat it. And our research interests span the disciplines of cell and molecular biology, biochemistry, genetics, epidemiology, community research, uh, creating an environment for uh, a tremendous amount of collaboration across those disciplines. And that collaboration is what makes the center a lively environment to conduct research. We've been doing work associated with the uh, National Cancer Institute related to the cachexia or the wasting that accompanies cancer. We're researching not only the basic mechanisms of why cachexia occurs in cancer patients or this weight loss, but we're also looking at could it be reversed and what are the potential therapeutic targets. My lab studies metastasis, which is the spread of cancer cells from the primary tumor to distant organs. To test our hypothesis that the primary tumor communicates with the target organ to prime it for the arrival of cancer cells, we use mouse models that can recapitulate all stages from the growth of the primary tumor to its arrival in the distant organ. And we use this using a mouse model that has an intact immune system because we believe that cells from the immune system actually play a critical role in promoting the progression of the disease to met met metastasis. So the goal of our research then is to understand the early stages of the disease so that we can identify biomarkers that we can use for early diagnosis and alleviate its devastating impact on the patients. About six, seven years ago, we realized that to be a, a vibrant, contributing center focused on colorectal cancer research, we needed to develop an outreach program. We are here at the sixth annual Unmasking Colorectal Cancer Gala. We can make a difference. We are making a difference. It takes a village. Colon cancer is so preventable by screening, and there is such a need to promote screening and prevent colon cancer all across the state of South Carolina. We do billboards, we're making people aware of colon cancer prevention. We do public service announcements. We reach out into communities. We have races that are really in support of colorectal cancer, that's part of our awareness. And what we do during those events is really try to engage people to talk about colorectal cancer. I was diagnosed in January of 2008 on my very first colonoscopy as part of a uh, physical that I was doing. Uh, resisted going. Uh, was diagnosed three days later with stage three colon cancer and I had no symptoms at all. The importance of the survivors in our program, in our outreach effort, is the fact that they can bring screening from their perspective. If I had not been screened, I'd be dead. Right, just pure, plain and simple. I'd be, I wouldn't be here. Go get it done, get the screening done, because I'd rather you not go through what I went through. I really don't want you to go through that. We also have a very unique program. Uh, we have a colon cancer prevention network that specifically targets the medically underserved and uninsured across our state. Through this program, we will perform almost 800 colonoscopies this year on individuals who are uninsured and, and underinsured. The interface with research comes from the fact that we run our screening program, but a lot of the outcomes of that screening program are useful to researchers to ask some specific questions about the nature of colorectal cancer in impoverished populations and underserved populations, issues related to why they do not get screening, why they do not access screening, uh, why they have higher rates and incidences of, uh, incidences of colon cancer and higher mortalities from colon cancer. We're actually saving lives and it's, you know, it, it gives us uh, it, it's a way to pay it forward, and that's what we're doing.